hello guys so welcome to KO tutorials so here I am coming up with a new tutorial on 3d modeling a car in 3ds max so let's get started so very first of all let's open up a reference and match the reference in Photoshop so let's go into file open so I have a car reference over here let's take up a reference so let's just open up a reference as you can see we have three references the side, front and the back and if you have uh, you know the top reference that would be much better you can uh, take a reference which is much better from the top view also so let's try to find out some other reference over here uh, we can take a reference which is having a top view as well so we'll be just taking any of the references which which is going to give you the top view so i'll just save as it i can just save as this so this is i guess the better reference so let's go into file open take another reference can take this reference this is a bit of a low reference uh, okay just a sec this is a perfect reference So we have got a perfect reference now. So we can just easily try to match it. Yeah, it's correctly matching. As you can see, we can try to match all this. So let's go over here and select this. Right click layer via cut. again select this for the front right click layer via cut again go for the top layer via cut and for the back view as well layer via cut so now I can just off all of this I can just put it like this I can just activate the snap option let's go on to this put it on the top and you can just go over here and reduce its opacity and check that whether it's matching yeah it's matching so your side view and top view height should match correctly And if you're using this, the the side view. So let's just match this. As you can see, yeah, it's correctly matching. Activate all this three. Control T. And if you need a back view all as well, so I can just take this back view also I can take this back view if required so you can just select this control T and we can slightly just resize it and press enter so let's save this go into file save as and I'll go into this
I'll create a new folder. So let's just name it as front over here and let's save it as jpg file save as side jpg save as top and save as the back all right so let's go over here we can just check out this what's the size of it so i can just go into this into the folder wherever we have saved it side top and front i can just save it inside this front side and top so select this let's select the property 1500 by 785 so i'll go into this view let's take a plane and make this as 1 by 1 so i'll just resize it so i'll just push this up so press m go into the material editor let's take our diffuse bitmap and let's take a front reference over here so i'll go into this i'll set it as 90 degree over here let's rotate it go into the material editor again go into standard bitmap and let's take a side view so we can do this such stuff mirror it i'm sorry uh we can mirror it in y axis and make this as a right view so we can easily match it duplicate it again press m standard and bitmap let's take a top view all right so make sure you are putting it right at the right place so how we can start is like we can just go over here and let's start so it's very important let's take a plane you can start up with a plane i'll start it from here right away so let's go to the top view as you can see I can just place it over here and into the front it has to be at the right place so convert to editable poly select the vertices push it over here select the edges just So select the edges extrude it rotate it so 
so let us keep on extruding this in the right manner, extrude it R and scale it, push it down. So, select this, shuffle it in this way. So, again select this, again extrude it, select the vertices, push it up, okay. drag it a bit inside in this way. So, again select this edges again extrude it, select this, go to the top view, again extrude it inside, can slightly just push this up, go to the top view, again extrude it. So, we can just try to manage this correctly. So, need to match the reference, it is very important. Again, scale it. So, select this, again extrude it, right click and weld it. So, you can easily weld this, shuffle it a bit inside, push it over here. select the edges, again extrude it, weld it, alright. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.